Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, Worcester County Tourism Director, and today we are out here on the Alyosha sailboat. Uh, we're going to be talking to owner Steve Butts and, and this fabulous trip that he offers. We're also going to be heading over to the Ocean City Center for the Arts, talking to Rena Thaler, heading down to Secrets to find out from Jackie what's going on there, and heading down to talk to our friends at the Ocean City Convention Center about all the great summer events taking place in Ocean City, and then finally wrapping it up with Jim Rapp, who is our favorite naturalist that we like to visit and find out all the great outdoors that is out there to discover. So don't go anywhere. New name, new games. So many new ways to win now at Ocean Downs Casino. Play live table games like blackjack, roulette, and craps. Hit on 100 additional slots, plus thrill to the excitement of lots more new theme slot games. The new Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Please play responsibly. For help, visit mdgamblinghelp.org or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, and we are out here on the Alyosha on this gorgeous day with captain owner Steve Butts. Yeah. Steve, thank you so much. So I just have like a million questions because this is the most awesome boat I think I've ever been on. Tell us first, you know, how you got into it, a little bit about the boat, sure. and then we can talk more about, you know, what you offer to visitors. Sure, so I, I, um, I actually grew up sailing on the Chesapeake Bay. Um, and it was a lifelong dream of mine to, to have a boat at some point. Um, I just finished two months ago um, sailing this boat around the world, uh, which, was a, so was, a, which was a big uh, goal that I had yeah. set for myself uh, in, in a past executive life. And uh, now we are down here in Ocean City, Maryland, offering charters, sailing charters, really. It's about getting out here in the yeah. Atlantic Ocean and sailing. Out um, of West Ocean City. Out of West Ocean City yeah. Harbor, yep. Yep. This is a massive boat. It's absolutely beautiful and wow, sailing around the world. So, how many people uh, uh, first does it hold? So right now, I, my charters are uh, offered for up to six people. Okay. Um, in I expect in a couple weeks uh, to actually be able to take twelve. Okay. Um, I'm working through some things with the Coast Guard right now. Okay. With a, it's it's a foreign built vessel. The best the boat was from is from South Africa. Oh. And so, uh, in order for a foreign built vessel to take uh, more than six passengers. There's okay. a number of uh, drawings yeah, and certifications. Yeah, I'm surprised because the boat seems much bigger th yes. than just allowing six people. No, no, I could comfortably take 15, yeah. 16 people. Uh, I mean, without you should any see down below. <laughs> it's so pretty. You're welcome to check oh it out. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. So you can offer people, are there options or do you just mainly go uh, along the coast of Ocean City? So usually, so I usually sail uh, three different times. I have a one, one o'clock sail. Um, I'm experimenting with doing a 10, 10 30 in the morning sail okay. a little bit. Okay. Well, you always do a four o'clock sail because okay. by then the sea breeze is generally okay. built up. And then on Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturdays, we do a sunset cruise. Oh. Um, the sunset cruise is, the sunsets have been phenomenal down here. I, the, the sailing is a little bit shortened. Uh, it's more of like a 90 minute experience, whereas with the three hour tours, we really give people a chance to get out here and what, see what it feels like to sail. Yeah, now this is a beautiful calm day. Do, can people bring their own, I don't know, drinks? food or is that something you supply or are you so we do both okay uh, we had we offer a catered option okay that's through um, taste events uh -huh. uh, which is the uh, I think off the hook yep. rest restaurant group it's the hooked so we, folks yep. that's right that's right so we do uh, we do a catered uh, option with them um, but, but a lot of people bring their own they bring their own food they bring their own drinks yeah I have a number of uh, I've already had a number of anniversary celebrations okay and people bring champagne out um, we've had a 30-year anniversary. We've had a two-year anniversary. Um, so we've, so we've for special events and special occasions, absolutely. this is such a unique idea. Oh. He, I've, had, I've had a number of people that they get on the boat, they go up to the trampoline. And they never want to leave. Do, that's right, and I do not see them again. They and never. they spend the entire time up there uh, just hanging out on the trampoline. So we should say the trampoline is the section in the front that's the well, like a trampoline like over the a, water. It is actually a trampoline in so, between the two holes. So is there officially a name for this kind of boat? I mean, is it a catamaran? Yeah, it's a sailing okay. catamaran. Okay. Multi-hull okay. sailing catamaran. It is yes. absolutely yes. stunning. Stunning. 
So how the, so the trip lasts? You say like ninety minutes. Uh, the sunset cruise will last ninety minutes. Okay. When, I, when I go at one and four and, and and bring people out for ocean sailing, it's more of a three hour yeah experience. Bring your lunch, just ah, okay. oh, and you get a whole different perspective of Ocean City from out here. Uh, and there's no uh, no engines to talk right. over and. And let's, I guess, remind people they can come out here and do wildlife watching too. I mean, uh -huh. there's birds and dolphin. We have seen a number of dolphins. The yeah. dolphins occasionally play in the bow of the boat <gasps> uh, because it we're, sails and there's no props for them to worry about. Well, we're, so, we're hoping you have those dolphins queued up for us today. <laughs> I gotta release those. Uh, I just need to check something. Okay, so yeah, me, check, check. Okay, every now and then, I'm sorry, Matt, but every now and then I just gotta make sure we're on not course. <laughs> we're, we're not running I into went Ocean as City. Long as I could go. <laughs> okay, I sorry. Like, that's okay. Okay, so um, if people want to, and you, you know, let me say, if people want to come out and they say, well, I get seasick or I just don't, there's plenty of things they can do to negate that before they ever get on the boat. Absolutely. We, you know, we definitely recommend they, they take a little bit of a uh, preventative medicine. If they know I mean, that they that's know how they, they react. Yeah. But the other thing, Lisa, on a, on a, on a sailing catamaran like this, I'm sure you've noticed it's it sails flat. It's so smooth. It's, it's sail, so, the, yeah. The, the, the whole experience of being out here sailing yeah. on a catamaran is very different from a monohull. You, you're not yeah. heeling over. It's you're not, not leaning scary. over. No, and no. you're not way, way out. I mean, you can see the beach right now just perfectly fine. That's so right. if people want more information about the times and days and the cost and all the other particulars, what's a good site for them to visit? So our website is www.sailaliosha.com. That's S-A-I-L, Aliosha, A-L-Y. O S H A dot com. And they can probably Google Aliosha to find the backstory on that name. Absolutely. <laughs> they can Google that or they can Google sailing catamaran and that'll probably bring them right In to Ocean as City, well. Maryland. Yes. That's exactly right. Okay. That's exactly right. Well, Steve, this is a real treat. This is like the highlight of my day here. <laughs> and we're going to spend a little time out here. And thank you so much for letting us do this and for being on the show. It's great having you. Yay! Uh, you, you don't have to touch my yeah, arm to yeah, sail. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. From here, we are heading down to 94th Street to the Ocean City Center for the Arts and uh, checking in with Rena to see what she's got going on. Hi, I'm Rena Thaler, Executive Director of the Art League of Ocean City, and you're here in our beautiful home, the Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street to see why art matters this month in Ocean City. This month, we feature the work of artists Eric Saylor and Craig English in a beautiful show called Regional Pop, and it's bright and colorful. We'll debut some seriographs, including this one of Ocean City that just came out this month, and you can be the first to collect them. Bright, bold, colorful images. You'll also see in our Galleria this month the work of our Beverly Basford juried show. Artists work in all different mediums, and there's something for everyone in every price point here, original artwork. While you're here this summer, stop in and take a class. We have classes for kids, adults, we have camp, pottery, anything you can think of. Come get creative with us here at the Ocean City Center for the Arts. We're open daily, nine to four during the week, 11 to four on weekends, and evening for classes. So come in and check us out. You can look for us online, artleagueofoceancity.org, or give us a call, 410-524-9433. This summer, we'll be viewing our 15th year of the Artist Paint OC plein air event. You'll see 50 artists from around the country outside painting for four days, and you can come here for the wet paint sale. And then catch us at Northside Park, August 24th and 25th, for Art X, the local art and music festival. So get creative in Ocean City. Come out to the Ocean City Center for the Arts and support the Arts this month. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Dorian and Wes and also Reed. 
<laughs> yeah, we're going to ride awesome rides. They're going to be super fun. Okay, we're going inside. It's going to be such a fun time. What I want is Splash Mountain. Yep. Splash the pie. We're at the pirate bucket. We're going to um, go under in the place, and it's going to be super fun. Discover the fascinating history of Delmarva, from the earliest Native Americans to the farmers and watermen that have made the peninsula their home. Explore the natural wonders of the region with our exciting live and interactive exhibits. Meet our friendly river otters, Mac and Tuck. Get your hands wet in the touch pool, tong for oysters, set sail in a cat boat, climb into a beaver's lodge, and so much more. The Delmarva Discovery Museum in Pocomoke City is all about interactive family fun. Welcome to the Dough Roller, Ocean City's favorite family restaurant. A full breakfast menu is served daily featuring delicious buttermilk pancakes and omelets. We have something for everyone. Award-winning fresh dough pizza, sandwiches, subs and salads, Italian and seafood dinners, plus a great kids menu. 41st Street has several TVs to watch your favorite sporting events or host a meeting. All of our locations can accommodate large families and groups. Four Ocean City locations to serve you. Open seven days a week. The Dough Roller. Good things are rolling your way. Thanks, Rena. Next, we're heading down to Secrets, and we're going to be talking to Jackie to find out what is going on at the distillery and Secrets. Hi, guys. Jackie here. Welcome to Secrets, Jamaica, USA, home to the largest nightclub in the area, with 18 bars and five stages with live entertainment every night. The 7,000 square foot Morley Hall nightclub features state-of-the-art sound, lighting, and visuals displayed on a 4K jumbo screen. The area's top bands perform in the Morley Hall, including Garden State Radio, Go Go Gadget, as well as live DJs spinning mixes of EDM and Top 40 records. Other stages at Secrets include the Pier Stage, Tiki Stage, Main Bar Stage, and the Beach Stage. Dance in the Sand to Chill Vibes at the Beach Stage, our largest venue on the property, hosting reggae acts, pop rock bands, and live DJs. Check out our calendar of events at secrets.com, including our summer concert series featuring Tribal Seeds, Fortunate Youth, Hyrie, and many more. All right, party people, we hope to see you soon at Secrets. Find us and get lost. Secrets, Jamaica, USA, where you go to get away. 18 bars, five stages, and sandy floors all around. Relax on our rafts and enjoy delicious eats in our bayfront dining under the palms. Then when the sun goes down, the fun heats up. 
Home to the Morley Hall nightclub, Secrets is your entertainment hotspot with live music every night. Secrets, Jamaica, USA. Find us and get lost. Thanks, Jackie. Now we are heading over to talk to our good friends in the tourism department for Ocean City to find out all the great summer events still to take place. So let's hear what they've got to say. Hello and welcome to the Beach and Beyond. My name is Melanie Purcell with the Greater Ocean City Chamber of Commerce. And of course, I have my great partners with me today, Susan Jones with the Hotel Motel Restaurant Association Hello. and Donna Abbott with the Department of Tourism here with the town of Ocean City. And we are on the beautiful beach of Ocean City, the most pristine white sandy beach on the East Coast, I have to say. <laughs> We're not going back to work today. No, 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 no. no. So we are here talking about everything that's going on this summer. And let me tell you, there is a lot going on between all the free family fun, the new activities, new amenities, new businesses, um, yes. new restaurants, new hotels. So Donna, why don't you talk a little bit about what's going on this summer? Well, as usual, we have a lot of great uh, family-friendly free events coming up this summer. We have uh, Family Beach Olympics on Tuesday nights. We have the uh, beach dance parties that are right down here in this area of the beach next to the boardwalk at Carolina North Division Streets. We have Sundays in the Park up at Northside Park again, which is very popular with fireworks in the evening. And um, the Sunset Park Party Nights yeah. at uh, <laughs> Sunset Park. The list Park. goes on. Yeah, it's a long list. You cannot and, uh, be bored in Ocean City. No, Let me no. There's <laughs> almost just about every night there's yeah. something to do. And of course the yeah. beach and the boardwalk you can't go wrong with any activities that are happening along this area. Well, and we talked a little bit about, um, you know, the things that were going on at camps this summer. Right. I mean, if you Great haven't camps. had any of the summer camps with your kids, uh, we were talking about, like, the Art League. Oh, my oh, gosh, yes. they're doing some great stuff up there. They so really are. The Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street is a great place for visitors and for locals. And they have kids' classes. There's handmade jewelry, handmade pottery, adult classes. And one of my favorite things is the open plein air paint mm -hmm. event, which is in August. And then also at the end of August is the Town of Ocean City's Art X. And that's a really cool event too, which is set around Northside Park. Mm -hmm. So we just do, we really have so Lots much going on. Lots of integrative on. experiential yes. stuff going on. It's all about the experience with the whole family, yes. um, from the little kids up through grandma, grandpa. And we can't yes. talk about summer without talking about the White Marlin Open. Good so time. of course, one of the biggest fishing tournaments in the entire world. So please come down to Ocean City this summer. If you're just taking a day trip, if you're staying for a week, there's always something to do. And for the entire calendar of events and all the great things to do, please visit www.ococean.com. Now we're going to hear from Jim Rapp, our favorite naturalist, and he's always got great wildlife adventures for us. Maryland's coastal bays are teeming with a diversity of aquatic wildlife. One of the best ways to explore these underwater realms is by using a seine net. A seine net is a pretty simple tool used by recreational fishermen and marine biologists alike. It consists of a couple of poles, a long net, styrofoam floats, and a weighted bottom. It kind of looks like an upside down badminton net. And simple thing to do is you go out in the water, put the weighted end down, drag it through the water column, pull it up to the beach, and then explore the life inside. So we put the weighted end down, put the poles down to the bottom at about a 45 degree angle, and we're gonna drag this back to the beach and we'll see what we catch. Ready, Julie? Okay, all the way in and pull it up. So before you touch the fish, make sure you get your hands wet because these fish have a little protective coating and dry fingers can wash that off. So let's see here. Oh, here we go. There, so these are silver sides. This is the bait fish that lives out here in these eelgrass beds. Uh, great bait for flounder fishing, but also a very important food source for lots of different animals out here in the coastal bays, everything from fish like flounders and uh, larger fish to herons and egrets would 
hunt for these guys in the coastal bays. Very common fish to pull up in the same net here. Oh, good. A little snail. I think that is a mud snail, maybe a periwinkle. But there's his little foot. And there, this guy would feed on the bottom there, kind of gleaning algae off a lot of the grass we see out there. This, uh, let's see, here's a live piece. This right here is eelgrass. This is a really important plant here in the coastal bays. It's a submerged aquatic grass. And this is where a lot of these little fish, snails, and crabs live and hide from the bigger fish. So eelgrass is really critical to a healthy life in the coastal bays. You see the snails moving right there along the bottom. So he would kind of graze along the grass beds with a little mouth part there, grazing algae and things off the eelgrass. After you pulled your seine and picked your fish and critters out of the net, it's good to flip it over in the water, shake it once or twice, and release everything that you caught on the first round. There they go. All right, let's do another drag. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, you can see him in there. Yeah, you can see his little filaments moving on the outside. So these little guys are called comb jellies. So they are in sort of the jellyfish group. Uh, they don't sting, they're not harmful, but they're filter feeders. So they're mostly translucent, you can't really see them. But in the little aquarium, you can see the little sort of tiny fibrous little hairs on the outside kind of moving them through the water columns. They filter water through their opening and feed in the water here in the grass beds behind Assateague Island. Beautiful little animal called a comb jelly. So in the water right here are little islands of seagrass, eelgrass, uh, shells, other things. And so a lot of the fish and marine invertebrates we're looking for like this kind of stuff to hide in. So we're going to pull the net here and come see you, Matt, and we'll see what we can get. All right, Julie, let's see, ready? Lift it up. You know, many vacationers come to Worcester County to eat these guys when they're like, what, five and a quarter inches or bigger? But this is how they start their life, in these little grass beds in the coastal bay. So these are juvenile blue crab. So you can see the mottled color of these guys, even though they're called blue crabs, they're kind of mottled greenish brown and that's a really good camouflage for hiding out in there. So you can imagine when this guy is nestled into those eelgrass beds out there in the coastal bays, it's really hard to see. And that's exactly where he wants to go back to when we're done observing him during our seine net exploration. So come visit us in Worcester County and explore the life aquatic with a seine net when you're traveling Maryland's beach and beyond. It's insane. Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, and we are here in Berlin today with Ivy Wells, who's the Director of Economic and Community Development for the Town of Berlin. Did, yes. I, get that, did I get that right? Berlin, Berlin, Ber okay. it's all the same place. I got place. your title right. We're good. And we are going to be doing a little walk around and talking mm -hmm. about the arts scene in town, and uh, they're alive and well year-round. Oh, what people don't realize is that we're actually a designated arts and entertainment district. Correct. And that means we offer an array of uh, public art, live music, and we've really bumped up our live music scene. We've got art galleries featuring local and international art, too. So this is going to be fun. Let's take a little it's walk. It's always fun yeah. in Berlin. Okay, so let's head, um, let's head downtown, and we are going to stop by the first gallery right here. Yes, Art in the Fields. Art in the Fields is an upscale gallery. When they first opened, they actually had Andy Warhol portraits in here. That's what I understand. And next, we're heading around the corner to Jeffrey Oxer. So here we are in Jeffrey Oxer Designs Blown Glass and Fine Art Studio. I love this place. Uh, he is so incredible. He loves his job so much and his art so much. He literally built his house on top. And I love the fact that they ship he ships his art and his glassworks all over the world. So this is Wooden Octopus. It's located right across the street from Jeffrey Oxer's glass blowing studio and the Burley Cafe. So this street is also the location of a second Friday Maker's Market. We have artists set up and kids activities, our arts entertainment committee. 
Uh, they do a I wonderful love that job. Idea. Second Fridays right here on Jefferson Street, where the Worcester County Arts Council is. And what a good idea to do it on Second Friday with all these galleries right here. I know it's perfect. And I understand the Worcester County Arts Council has been in the town of Berlin since 1970. Six. It has, and we're so fortunate to have it right here in our downtown. We are heading towards the Globe, and she has dedicated the entire upstairs as an art gallery. She also features art shows for our Arts Entertainment Committee. The Balcony Gallery. The Balcony okay. Gallery. Okay. Um, on what grounds? Right up here. Oh, it smells so good. Ah. I know, I love the smell of that coffee. So here we are at On What Grounds Coffee Shop. This is also another art gallery we have here in town. There's many of our shops have local artists featured. So a trip uh, to check out all the arts in Berlin would not be complete without coming to the Baked, Baked Dessert, Dessert Cafe. Cafe. We're on Bay Street now, and it's right around the corner from Town Hall, and you can see there's Fountain over 20 always. different local artists represented here. And they oh. always do. And they're always open for Second Friday. You can come in, you can taste some wine, meet a local artist, and this artist here all year round. So here we are at the Greyhound and Indie Bookstore, which is one of our newest shops. They Amazing. also feature local art here on the walls. I just love what they have done to this place. It's fabulous. It's beautiful in yep. here. It's gorgeous. Well, this is going to wrap up our tour. And mm -hmm. if you come to Berlin, I'm sure there's lots of other places that we uh, haven't covered, but this has been a fabulous tour. Now, if people want more information about Berlin and the Arts and Entertainment District, what's a good website for people to go to? So to find out more about Berlin, go to uh, BerlinMainStreet.com. And to mm -hmm. find out more about the Arts in Berlin, go to ArtsInBerlin.org. Excellent. Easy, easy. Thanks, Ivy. Thanks for the tour. Always fun to see you, it Lisa. It is always fun. much for tuning in today and I seriously recommend if you want something to do that is different and exciting you got to try out the Alyosha. If you are looking for more great ideas and fun things to do in the area then tune in for another episode of Beach and Beyond.